Rensselaer County Executive Steve McLaughlin was indicted on two charges in December 2021, including three-degree grand larceny and first-degree offering a false instrument for filing. Today, jurors began deliberations at 3.45 p.m. and then delivered their decision within an hour, acquitting the county executive of all charges. McLaughlin thanked the supporters outside of the courtroom. I want to thank, uh, thank the jury for their hard work. I want to thank uh, Tom Capeza and Ben Hill, my incredible lawyers who uh, saw this case for what it was. In the case, he was accused of withdrawing $5,000 from his campaign fund to pay $3,500 in personal debts. He was a state assemblyman at the time, and he allegedly filed a financial disclosure report that claimed that the funds were used to pay for consulting, and he denied any wrongdoing. After the verdict, Karen Kaufman from the Rensselaer County Women for Change issued a statement expressing the need for honesty and integrity in government, stating, we are once again reminded that people in the highest offices of the county fall terribly short of that mark. Mr. McLaughlin McLaughlin is innocent until proven guilty. Of that, there is no question. There is also no question that Mr. McLaughlin failed to avoid appearances of impropriety, which is the standard by which all elected officials should behave. If McLaughlin was found guilty, he would have had to step down as county executive. But now that he's been acquitted of all charges, McLaughlin expressed how he is ready to get back to the office. They, they know the good work that we're doing, and uh, you know we're going to continue to do the, the good work. In Troy, Tamara Starr, News 10, ABC.